foods that are cooked, can the body handle them without having any toxicity and, and any putrefaction? Uh, the body needs raw food. And always remember, no matter what you eat, it's going to turn your body. Is. Your body's going to turn it. The digestive tract is going to turn everything you eat into liquid. Because the food that's fiber, will use the back bucket that we have. You see this right here? This stuff can't get through the intestinal wall, through the villi, into your bloodstream to feed your 100 trillion cells. The juice that was locked in here, you have to release it, can get into your bloodstream. It's pre-digesting. You see, this, you're going to have to evacuate it in a bowel movement. This is going to have to come through you. This is necessary physiologically to exercise the gums, stimulate the peristaltic action of 22 beats a minute. Some people have a very slow beat uh, of, of, and a very, very low retention. Some people have a slow beat of 10 or 12 beats per minute. Those are the people that are always constipated, have trouble. A normal bowel movement it evacuates what you eat, fiber and bulk, what you eat in about 24 minutes. A normal bowel movement takes two days, two and a half days. But the body, the body is a juice machine. Whatever you eat, the body has to turn it into the liquid. Because it isn't this that I showed you. It isn't the fiber or the bulk. It isn't this that can get through the intestinal wall. It was the liquid, the plant juice that the, that the plant produced from the ground and solar energy and everything else that is locked in the carrots and the apples and the grapes and the pineapple and the spinach and the parsley. It's only the juice of, that's my slogan. Yeah, because juice of, of the fiber that feeds you. Juice of the fiber that feeds and beans, legume. Nothing else on this earth is fiber, so you go for it. But this, back to this question, this question that's a gnawing question to me. Is that all you do is juice? Why juice? Well, the reason for juicing is essential. is to separate the juice from the fiber so that when you do drink pulp-free juice, you have 100% of the food value in your bloodstream, pre-digested in a matter of minutes. When you eat the food, then the body has to process it. The salivary glands first, the amylase, so the co complex carbohydrates can be broken down to simple starches and sugars, and then this peristaltic wave with hundreds of thousands of intestinal fluids and juices and hydrochloric acid for the protein to break it down to protein, peptones, amino acids, etc. And then finally, when everything gets to the small intestines, uh, called the ileum, we have your villi, only the juice penetrates from the intestinal wall through the portal vein into your liver to reach the bloodstream to feed and nourish your 100 trillion cells. The fiber, of course, continues on through down to the uh, sending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and finally out in the bathroom. Fiber is essential. Now, to be absolutely, perfectly healthy for the rest of your life, for as long as possible, disease-free, you and I need the nutrients to the equivalency of eating 15 pounds of green and yellow vegetables and plant life daily. Plant life. Plant life, where all life emanates. So I took the liberty, I took the liberty just to go ahead and, and make about five to six pounds of plants into juice. And this is the ultimate result. One, two, three. That's almost a quart of juice. And this is the residue. This produce yielded this amount of juice and that's what would have to be eliminated out of the body. You see, that's precisely why we juice. So that when you do drink the pulp-free juice, bingo, the nutrients in your bloodstream now, in an instant, without the body wasting any energy or breaking down and compromising the immune system. And always remember the most important thing. It's the juice of the fiber that feeds you.